And Ms. Lair, this is your motion, is that correct? Correct. Can you just briefly state what change you are seeking to make? I am trying to um, retain full physical, full legal custody and remove parenting time. Okay. Mr. Clear, are you in opposition to that? Yeah, I Pardon? understand that. Okay, so you got you you oppose that, so we would need to have a hearing on the issue. It looks like the current order is what Miss Roos has the primary physical. Mr. Clear, you have parenting time every other weekend. Is that correct? Yeah. And are you exercising that parenting time currently? I have not, Your Honor. Your Honor, he has not exercised his parenting time since July fourth of twenty twenty one. And we haven't heard or seen from him since September of 2021. My daughter has expressed that she doesn't want to see him. Well, I mean, now we're in front of the court, so that's going to change perhaps some things because there's certain evidentiary standards that have to be met to show that there should be no parenting time. It's a pretty, it's a higher burden to order no parenting time. Um, you have to show that there's clear and convincing evidence that any parenting time um, would impact the mental, emotional, or physical health of the child. Um, simply not it exercising has. it, simply exercising itself is not necessarily that, but we you do have to meet that burden. Um, so that, that's what we'll address then at the hearing, if that's what you are seeking. Um, yes, it is. Okay. I mean, otherwise, it could continue as is, and if he's not exercising it, he's not exercising it, but you are seeking that actual provision to... Um, have zero parenting time. Is that correct? Correct. My, for the record as well, my husband would like to eventually adapt her. So as to the hearing itself, um, Ms. Lear, do you intend to testify just yourself or do you intend to call other witnesses? Um, I would like to call other witnesses. About how many witnesses do you anticipate? Um, excuse me, two, maybe three. Okay. Mr. Clear, do you intend to call any witnesses or just testify yourself? Yes, Your Honor. You do intend to call witnesses? Yeah. Okay. So the reason I ask is because that determines how much time we give you. Um, if the parties are intending to call witnesses, we definitely would need more than one hour. So the next time that I have a three hour block is February 21st at 1 p.m. That is an in person hearing, which means that you guys would be here in person along with your witnesses. If you have a witness that has difficulty in appearing in person, I would consider allowing them to appear by Zoom. Um, for example, counselors, doctors, those type of witnesses certainly can appear by Zoom if needed, um, but other witnesses would need to be here in person. Do either of you have any issue with February 21st? Any other thing that is scheduled that date that you know you can't miss? Not nope. that I'm aware of. Can you um, repeat the time though? 1 p.m. Okay, thank you. And your daughter is eight years old, is that correct? Yes. So she is of sufficient age to express a preference to the court. So I would also do the preference interview. That is a in-chambers interview with me and one of the friend of the court staff. Um, what she tells me in that preference interview is not revealed to the parties. Um, it is simply a confidential interview where she would have the right, if she wanted to, to express a preference regarding custody and parenting time. So she should be here um, also that day, but she should be brought at 1245 to do that meeting. Um, and then somebody hopefully could take her home after that. Um, we're back okay. to school and we'll start the hearing at 1 p.m. Okay. Any questions, Ms. Lair? I guess my concern is if Mr. Clear decides that he now wants to exercise some of his parenting time, I'm not comfortable with that. He knows nothing about her anymore. That's always the catch 22 of these motions. I see people file them when the, you know, the other parent is doing nothing. And then suddenly now they've got a parent who's seeking, you know, a different parenting time schedule or a specific parenting time schedule. So again, in order for me to order no parenting time, I've got to be convinced that there's clear and convincing evidence that it would cause those, uh, that harm to the child. If I don't think that burden is met, then I would either modify the parenting time to some other type of schedule or continue it as is. So in the meantime, I guess I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Because I can't I give will, you instructions. I will not but send her. There is a court. There's a court order, and I, you know, it's up to the parties on how they handle that. And that's certainly, if you don't, if he tries to exercise parenting time and you don't allow it, then you would have the right to file a parenting time violation, and that would be something that could be heard also when we have court in February. Your Honor. Yes, sir. May I speak? Yeah. I did reach out to her on July 14th, Cora's birthday this year, and pretty much got shut down. 
you know, saying that she wanted nothing well, to do. And, and I, we've got the hearing, and that's when we'll address, we'll address so, all that. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Okay. All right. I will see you both then on February 21st at 1 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.